some people may be wondering if their visions, dreams, what they are seeing with their natural eyes, if it is of God or Satan. And one of the many easy ways to know if something is of God or Satan is by lining it up with the fruit of the Spirit. So let's go to Galatians 5, 22 through 23. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, which is humility, temperance, which is self-control, against such there is no law. So, if you believe that you are seeing or have seen an angel, if what you are seeing does not line up with the fruit of the Spirit, then you know that that supposed angel is not an angel. It is a demon. You know that demons can take the shape of angels. I don't believe an angel is going to take a shape or take the shape of a demon. I don't believe that. Why would they? <laughs> but some demons, I don't know about all, but some demons can take the shape of angels. Some demons can take the shape of Jesus Christ. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. So if whatever you are seeing or experiencing, if it does not have these attributes, then you know that maybe or perhaps it is not of God. So let's say that you are still confused. Hey, Kevin, I am still confused. Okay, let's go to this. Okay. <laughs> so you have to ask yourself these questions. What is it about? How is the presentation? What message am I receiving about this? How does this make me feel? How is it impacting me? For instance, let's go to number one. How or what is it about? Myself. Almost every single day, <clears throat> I have similar supernatural experiences, dreams. Many of my dreams, I am being chased or people are trying to kill me or I am having a sexual dream or about or about serpents and stuff like that. So what is it about? I am being chased. People are trying to kill me. <laughs> sexual dreams and stuff like that. So can I say that? What I am dreaming about is of God. Of course not. Why? Because having sex before marriage, people trying to kill you and stuff like that, that is not of God. What is it about? Okay, number two. How is the presentation? There is something in my mind. Okay, how is the presentation? Whatever you are seeing, whatever you are dreaming about, how is it presented to you? For an example, my dreams, sexual dreams, people are trying to kill me and stuff like that. Or let's say that you see a supposed angel and this angel is got like a very mean face or acting like it wants to kill you or like it's all arrogant and prideful and whatever you are seeing, it goes against the word of God and stuff like that. How is the presentation? Is it acting in the way an angel is supposed to act or is it acting sinful? Are your dreams sinful? the content of your dreams or what you are seeing with your natural eyes, is it sinful? Is it going against, 
Is it going against what the Bible say that is wrong? How is the presentation? Is whatever you are seeing, is it trying to put you into fear? Like for instance, sometimes I see shadows that move when I am the only person that is in my room. <laughs> and my shadow is not moving, but I am seeing shapes, shadow shapes moving and other things. Sometimes I see things out of the corner of my eyes. Sometimes I see demonic faces. How is the presentation? So I can say many things that I have seen and experienced is not of God. How is the presentation? Okay. Number three. What message am I receiving about this? So, if a demon's face come out of nowhere and give like an evil grin, what message is coming from that? Hey, I am trying to put you into fear. I am trying to stop you from praying or... I am trying to get you to sit still and shake and stuff like that. Is it of God? No. What message are you receiving with that supernatural experience or dream vision or whatever else? Is it telling you that you need to pray more? Then you know that it is of God. Is it telling you that you need to read the Bible more? Then you know that it is of God. Is it telling you if you continue to act in the sinful way, you are going to hell? What message are you receiving from that experience? If it is of God or lining up with the Bible, then you know that it is of God. What message are you receiving? Well, for my dreams and people trying to kill me, kill me and stuff like that, that is showing me that demons don't like me. <laughs> so that is telling me these dreams and stuff, I know that they are demonic. Can't you say that? They are demonic. Okay. Number five, how does this make me feel? Are your dreams trying to petrify you only just to put you in fear? Because God may show you hell to get you motivated to change your life. That is not wrong. How do you feel when you are having that supernatural experience? When you see this supposed angel, do you get like, goosebumps and stuff like that all over your arms and the back of your neck and stuff like that. If you do, you may be seeing a demon dressed up as an angel. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Are you feeling loved, cared for, so on and so on? The fruits of the Spirit, look. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. If you are feeling these things when you are having this experience, more than likely it is of God. This should really make sense here. I'm serious. Because you are not going to feel love from a demon. It is impossible. Because there is nothing in a demon that is of love. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Okay, how is it impacting you? Is it making you change for the better? Is it making you worse? Is it only putting you in fear where you are afraid to do anything? As in like, you can't function in life anymore because of these supernatural experiences. How is it impacting you? What is it doing to you? Is it making you a better person? If not, more than likely, it is a demonic attack or you are seeing demons. 
So you have to ask yourself these questions and look at the fruit of the Spirit to know if your dreams, visions, whatever you are experiencing, whether you are seeing with your natural eyes supernatural things, if they are of God or of Satan, you have to line everything up with this and these questions. So you should know if what you are experiencing is of God or Satan. Very simple. Give me a second. Okay. This should really, really make sense here. If you have any questions, please contact me. And I am going to help you the best way that I can. So really take heed to this. God bless. Yes. So don't say that an angel came to you and said, hey, you can fornicate. And the word fornicate in the Bible means something else other than having sex before a marriage or something like that. If you say that fornication does not mean sex before marriage because an angel came to you and told you that you are speaking to a demon. And let me say this too. There are some people who said that when their mom or cousin or dad died, now their spirit comes to their home and go back and forth in their home and not saying anything or doing weird things that is a demon because once you die that's it you are either going to heaven or hell that person's spirit is not going to linger around that is a demon if you don't get rid of that demon that is going to make your home or wherever it is at more worse so you need to get rid of that demon yes you may be sad that your that your mom and dad died and yes I understand that but letting a demon that is taking the shape of that loved one that is not good you need to let go and get rid of that demon now because I'm telling you, if you don't get rid of it, worse things are going to happen in your household. And I am sure of that. Well, I'm just going to do whatever I want. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. God bless.